Okay, okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome to Linux Advocacy. This time we're going to take a look at the Maria DB database. In particular, we're going to take a look at how to use LibreOffice to connect to an external Maria DB database. As you probably know, LibreOffice has built in database capabilities, but those capabilities are rather limited. So we're going to show you how to connect to an external database, the MariaDB database. In the first place, what is MariaDB? Well, MariaDB is a clone. It's a clone of MySQL. As it says here at their website, MariaDB is an enhanced drop-in replacement for MySQL. So either one will do. We're going to use MariaDB. One just downloads it from the download uh, pages here. One downloads a database. And also, you must download the Java, uh, the Java connector or the Java driver. So those two things are needed, both the database and the Java driver. Once those are downloaded and installed, you simply start it up. We're going to start it up here. I have it set up already, and I just start it up. Well, there's, there are several ways to start it up. I use a custom script to start it up called MariaDB Start and just press the button and it starts up and all the information that it's uh, you know startup data is here but that's not important and you must also install the Java driver or the Java connector and once you do that you go to your uh, LibreOffice and of course you have to have Java installed system-wide and then you configure that in LibreOffice by going to op Options, Advanced, Java. Java is installed here. I have the Oracle Java. And uh, <clears throat> the class path must be set to point to the MariaDB Java connector which you downloaded along with the MariaDB database. So you use the class path to point to that location. Once that's once those two things are set up, you're in business, and uh, we can go. We can start our database. What database are we going to use? Well, we're going to use a database known as the USDA, that is the United States Department of Agriculture Nutrient Database for Standard Reference. It's a globally used database. It's used by industry and academia all over the world to find out what is in food, what nutrients are present in, in foods. When you buy a package of food and you look at the nutrients on the back label, those nutrients come from here, basically. They could come from somewhere else, but usually they come from here. So you gotta, you can download that database. There's a download link here. There are two forms, the Microsoft Access form, which we could use. Linux does have uh, utilities and tools to convert, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use the ASCII database. It's a text database, a delimited text file containing all the tables, and uh, we download that, set it up in MariaDB, and we're in business. That's, that's what we've done. So. Once that's done, we go to LibreOffice, go to File, New, New Database, yes. Which one do we use? Well, it's, it's an external database, so we use a Connect to an Existing Database option. We don't pick Java Database Connector, that would be uh, uh, one would think, but no. We go to MySQL, which is the same as MariaDB. They're both the same. And then the next step, we pick connect using JDBC, the Java Database Con Connectivity. Very important. Don't make the mistake of going to uh, JDBC from here. Nope, won't work. Got to go MySQL first, then Java Database Connectivity. Next step, database name. It's going to be nutrition. Uh, server. I have. MariaDB is on a, on a local machine, so 
127.0.0.1. If it's a different machine, put the address there. It's on a lo local machine, so we can use localhost. Or if your machine has a name like mine does, use Ajax, that's my machine's name. They're all the same. This has to be changed from com mysql has to be changed to uh, org MarioDB. And we can uh, test the class. It works. Next, the username on the database, I use root. There's no password, but if it's different for you, do uh, put the appropriate ones here. Next, pick these as defaults and click finish. However, I've already set this up beforehand, so I'm not going to go through it again. But just to go through it again, connect to an existing database, use MySQL. Don't use a JDBC, use MySQL. Use a JDBC from here. Next, put your database name, server, port, driver class name, name of the uh, user on, on, on the database, and finish, and you're all done. But I've done this before, so we'll just open the database directly, the one that's been set up just as I've shown. Open, open, uh, where am I? Open Nutrition 27. There we are. Here we see database tables, queries, forms, reports. The tables, there's two of them. Food description, nutritional data. Those are huge, massive tables. I'm not going to open them up directly. I will use a form for convenience, a database form. Here. Was that visible? Let me see. We're on 12889. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to use a database form here to make it more convenient. Food description. It opens up, and we can see here's all the foods butter, cheese, and so on cheese, cream, milk, so on. There are thousands of them, tens of thousands of foods. We gotta have a query. So, let me see, this is, I think the bottom is cut off here. I see it's uh, 874 by 896. The bottom's cut off, but we'll just go to, on the bottom there's a button, form-based filters, and now we can put our query in here. Our query is, is, is going to be like, I like sardines, so I'm going to put uh, like sardine. We put wild cards in front and back to make sure we get everything. And then we execute the query or the filter. And there are all the foods with sardines in the, in the database. There's only three. We click one. I'll click Atlantic. And, uh, well, actually, that's a another form. Okay, well, this is just the descriptions. So, we can see there are only three foods with sardine and what are the nutrients? Well, that's in a different form. So, we'll close this form and we'll open up this form. And uh, here's a food description and, and the nutrients. Uh, maybe cut off in the bottom. 8, 10, 9, 7, 9, 27. Yes, let me cut a little bit in the bottom. But no. Anyway, We'll, again, we'll do a query or a filter, and uh, once again, we'll do like sardine, because I like sardines, and uh, I'll run the filter, and there's all the foods with sardine. Th this query is being done on the Ma MariaDB database, and we'll pick Atlantic sardines, and there we have, we clicked it. And there's the nutrients for Atlantic sardines right there. 24 grams of protein, 11.45 grams of fat per 100 grams of sardines, energy, 208 kilocalories per 100 grams of sardines, and so on. We got uh, 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 minerals here. We got vitamins. We got uh, uh, amino acids. We got uh, fatty acids. Total saturated fatty acids, 1.52 grams per 100 grams of sardines. We got all this stuff. We got, uh, importantly, we got this uh, omega-3 fatty acid 
half a gram per 100 grams of sardines. That's quite good. Okay. What about some other food? Well, what foods? Chocolate. Everybody likes chocolate, I think. So we'll go to chocolate. No, that's not how you spell chocolate. Chocolate. Now, uh, run the query. And there's all the foods with chocolate. Very quick, very quick. Because there are, you know, lots of records in here. And uh, all kinds of chocolate. Dairy chocolate, chocolate milk, cake chocolate, cookies chocolate, donuts, uh, snacks, uh, chocolate milk, uh, uh, puddings, uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we'll pick dark chocolate. And we get 6.12 grams of protein per 100 grams of dark chocolate and so on. All the minerals, vitamins, and uh, fatty acids. Uh, total fatty acids, uh, trans, monounsaturated, point, you know, so on and so forth. Total polyunsaturated, 1.2 grams per 100 grams and so on. So, that's what we can do. Those forms uh, can be created using the form create form and design view. We can click that. We have a blank where we can design new forms by dragging and dropping various things there. Uh, we have controls that we can use and so on. Much like MS Access, if one is used to MS Access database form creation. Okay, but we're not going to do that. Uh, so that's how we connect to an external, to an external database using MariaDB. And that's all for this exciting episode of Linux Advocacy. Uh, and uh, we hope everyone has obtained some useful information from this uh, presentation.